45 on day 12 and we are back on trail. Nice little campsite last night except a oh, great spring, awesome water source so lots of water. The only thing was it was down a hill 0.3 of a mile to get there so the reason I'm puffing is I had to walk 0.3 of a mile to get out of there and back on trail but that was okay. Uh, it was very warm last night so we're sleeping with the sides of our tent pulled back so that we're just sleeping under the, the netting thing because um, it's very very warm. There's a chance of rain and thunderstorms forecast today between two and five so we need to be mindful of that. I've stuck my raincoat at the top of, top of my pack and also forecasting some rain, thunderstorms and rain for tonight so we need to think about where we're going to go. Um, recharge some of our devices last night. I charged my phone and my watch and unfortunately charge has woken with a flat phone and battery pack this morning. I carry a much bigger battery pack because I keep my phone charged to do video editing in the evenings. So we are recharging his phone at the moment while we walk down the trail with my battery pack. It's very important that Charge's phone is working because he is largely our navigation guy. So we need his phone connected to the app and working out where we are. I mean, I've got the app, but don't put me in charge of navigation. It's not my strong suit. Uh, in 10 miles, we'll be out of the Shenandoahs. So we've been walking the Shenandoah National Park for a long time, it seems. So we'll be out of the Shenandoahs and there's something called the roller coaster coming up, which we can talk about later. Uh, we have a plan. Oh, I need to turn my watch on. Gosh, I've got to turn my Garmin on. And you know, if it doesn't get registered on your phone, it didn't happen, right? I mean, on your watch, it didn't happen. Um, we need to think about how far we're going to hike today. 25 miles yesterday was pretty brutal. So we're feeling a bit tired and beaten up this morning. Uh, we're going to find some phone reception and just work that out. Five miles and we're sitting on a rock having a rest. Charge is looking at the app to work out what's ahead. There was, I thought, a burger at the 10 mile point, but it's not open on Wednesdays. Darn it. Um, in how many miles are we out of the Shenandoahs? Just over five miles. Just over five miles when we finish with the Shenandoahs. It's a beautiful national park, I'm sure. We haven't seen a lot of the park or the views. We've mainly seen the green tunnel. So it'll feel good to have finished the Shenandoahs and we can march on to, to Harpers Ferry. Point three of a mile to the end of the Shenandoahs. We've done coming up for nine and a half miles this morning in about nearly three and a half hours. So as I said, the Shenandoahs, I'm sure are beautiful. The Appalachian Trail doesn't walk through part of the Shenandoahs but we can enjoy its full glory. We'll be happy to have that done and I'll be sure to film as we come through. Haven't filmed much this morning because there's not much to see. Lots of squirrels, but squirrels and trees, that's about it.
What you're doing, Charge? You've done this before, back in Pennsylvania, a number of years ago. See that line there? I see that line there. This side of the line? Yep. Is the Shenandoah National Park. Yeah. Where am Virginia. I? You're on the other side. <laughs> I'm on the other side. You're still in Virginia, but you're outside the uh, Shenandoah National Park. And watch the leap of faith. Woohoo! That, thank you for creating that moment because actually that's a bit anticlimactic for the fact that it's the end of the Shenandoah National Park. If I didn't do that, then no one would have known. I know. I didn't know until I opened my phone and had a little look and realised we were on the border. Come right, on. let's get going. Considering the many miles we've walked, the sweat we've sweated, that's a bit lame, Shenandoahs. A boundary should be a bit more spectacular than that. We're on the quest for water. Um, we're having to walk some distance off trail and of course downhill to find a spring called Ginger Spring because we need to drink a pile of water and we need to stock up our water bottles so that we've got plenty moving forward. This two weeks or the weeks of hot sunny weather around here have um, dried out some of the creeks and springs so they're not flowing quite so well so um yeah this is a this is a long walk down for water but i'm sure it's going to be worth it small change in plan we have just organized a lovely local called matthew who drives a shuttle around here to pick us up from Front Royal, which is another town situated at the entrance of the, at the entrance of the Shenandoah National Park. He's going to pick us up in about three miles, and which will be maybe a three a thirteen and a half mile day. Yesterday was brutal. Twenty five miles in steaming heat was really brutal. So we and we stink. <laughs> We have decided that we will go into Front Royal. We're still on schedule, according to the uh, spreadsheet, but we need to make sure we pick it up for the next three days. Uh, we're gonna go into Front Royal, and we are going to wash. We're gonna wash ourselves, we're gonna wash our clothes, and we're gonna eat, because we need to eat. The other reason for our decision to stay in town tonight is that, I'm just making sure I haven't missed the trail, no I haven't, is that it's forecast later this afternoon for showers and some thunderstorms and then showers and thunderstorms again till 3am. So, you know, I'm quite happy to avoid uh, getting wet and electrocuted. So, um, we've booked into, into nothing fancy, but it has a laundromat and we'll be able to go somewhere and get something to eat to lift our spirits and to get rid of the stink and stay dry. You're not even vaguely bothered, are you? Are you just going to stand there and carry on eating? Looks like it. Okay, well, we're going past. Excuse me. Oh, yourself. Yeah. No fear at all. And we're in a car going to Front Royal to get out of the steamy heat. And Matthew's been kind enough to collect us. And, and we're going to a hotel. And trail magic. Oh, and trail magic as well. Yes. I'll just put you my, in the corner. My trail name, I didn't tell you. Oh, what is your trail name? Gumbo. Gumbo. <laughs> 
It's great to meet you, Gumbo. Is that because you make great gumbo? Well, yes, but I make great gumbo because I'm from New Orleans. Ah. It's my hometown. Why Front Royal then? I went to school in Virginia and I fell in love with it. And so I decided to settle here. Okay, so well, who did we just meet and what just happened? Well, we organized a shuttle driver, Matthew, who came highly recommended on a whole lot of different posts in the air. Uh, app that we use called uh, Far Out. Anyway, he turns up 10 minutes early, which is always a, a bonus, especially in this heat. Opens up his boot. He's got a, uh, a cooler bin there, ice cold uh, uh, Powerade. It's delicious. Same colour as, as Flash's uh, shirt. <laughs> uh, lovely long, big chat. We eventually hop in the car and, and he's dropped us off at the hotel. Um, wouldn't take any money. Trail magic. Trail magic. And he's so got... we've given him yeah. some money so he can buy more trail magic to help more hikers. And that, that was a good deal. That so, cold Powerade was yeah. just magic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just amazing. So, and tomorrow so morning? Oh, in the morning he's going to pick us up and take us back to the trail. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're going to go and find something to eat. Yeah, on the main street. Yeah. Okay, so we're heading Main Street, Front Royal. Um, so it's the town at the other end of the Shenandoahs. It's 90 degrees and all you need is, oh, hang on, I'm gonna zoom. All you need is love, perfect. Uh, <laughs> all you need is love, love. Look, he's perked up with the prospect of a cold beer and a burger, but um, hello, there he is. We're going to go into Main Street. They've got an outfitter, so it gives us a chance to get um, that water filter. Um, there's also a place here called Base Camp, where, which offers showers and laundry to hikers um, and cold beer. And um, this looks really pretty. This is a real hiker-friendly town, so we're going to go for a bit of a wander. We can't book into our hotel until 3 p.m., uh, Rhea at the front, front desk was quite clear about that, but she let, she's let us put our stinky packs into the gym at the hotel and so we can walk down Main Street packless, which is a hell of a relief. Okay, what are you showing me, Charge? We're checking out Charge's toenails. <laughs> swollen foot. Oh, he's got a swollen foot. Right, oh, well. so here we are, Front Royal. We've had a really satisfying afternoon of logistics. We've stayed inside in, in the air conditioning with our feet up. I've laundered everything. Um, we have counted all the food and determined that we've got enough food to get us through to Harpers Ferry. We've thrown away the cheese because the cheese just was melty and sweaty and didn't make it. Um, logistics, logistics. We've booked a hotel for Washington on Saturday night. We're just in the process of booking trains and booking our accommodation in Gorham up north. There is a lot more to hiking than just walking. Um, they're not backpacks, they are in fact elephants. A um, lot more to hiking than just hiking. So I'll just get off the road so someone doesn't hit me. Um, and now we're going to the Thai restaurant, which is literally right next door to the hotel. If you ate meat, I'd drag you across the... If I eat meat, he would take me across to the barbecue just, place. Because this parent meat be one of the best pit. It's like a thick American grill barbecue pit. Uh, barbecue on the east coast. So do you think they do fish? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Um... We, it's still 80 billion degrees and is going to thunder tonight. So all around a really good decision to come down here and reset. Thai food, you know you love it. 
that is why we're not on the trail tonight. It's really stormy out there. Ooh. <laughs> we did good. <laughs> we, we would have been weak. That was a good idea. Does that basically sum up what you think about the salubrious delights of the Baymont in Front Royal? Yeah, well, I won't be giving it any stars, put it that way. Are your feet <laughs> sticking to the floor like mine are in your shoes? This place is revolting. However, it had hot water. Hot water in the beds. <coughs> and dusty. And dusty. Excuse me for that. Okay, so we also so we got off off we got off trail yesterday. Yep, 13 and a half miles. And Gumbo picked us up. Yes, we awesome. Love. Thank you, Gumbo. Um, <coughs> should we start this again? <laughs> Are you okay with the sneezes? <laughs> oh, it is what it is. <laughs> um, and then we missed out on that outrageous thunderstorm that, last night. That storm last night was wild. So, um, exceptionally heavy rain. Lasted about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Uh, Fork lightly. Oh. Or, Excuse me. Or as Spike Milligan would have said, knife, fork, and spoon lightning. Yes, and um, and blowing quite a, quite a gale, so it would have been even worse up in the in the mountains. So uh, we made a good call coming in. Uh, Joe, well, <coughs> well charge sneezes. Oh, we ate a lot. In fact, we ate a lot of vegetables. Um, oh, he's just passing out and blowing his nose. We ate lots of vegetables. Had a little bit of beer. And then last night we had Thai, which was really fantastic having something spicy and tasty. And again, lots of vegetables. So that's what we miss on trail, is veggies. Right, we also had an incredibly productive night last night because there's yes. lots of logistics that we organised. Well, yeah, we were um, at Font Real. We're still in Virginia. Uh, I think today we cross, yeah, we cross over the border Ooh. today. So into West Virginia. And obviously our target is Harpers Ferry. So we've got... <laughs> 50, excuse me, we've got 54, 55 miles into Harpers Ferry um, and we're giving ourselves two full days and we've got to catch a train which we've booked at 11 o'clock in Harpers Ferry on Saturday morning, today's Thursday so uh, and where, where's the train going to take us? hour and a half into Washington, sorry, yeah, into Washington where we'll actually stay a night we've booked the hotel yes, so, so book the train the hotel but we've got a 5.40 uh, uh, train the next morning a.m. up to Boston um, which is the eight hour train ride and then, and then we hop onto <laughs> a bus and we go inland and we head to Gorham New Hampshire and it's a five hour bus ride that's a lot of public <laughs> transport but actually i'm looking forward to sitting down for 13 hours it's going to be a nice rest but so anyway we'll get into gorham uh we don't get in there too late so we'll let you take a zero day the next day and then we'll get back on on the trail we'll then uh well today we'll finish uh, virginia so that means that we've completed uh, 11 complete states Saturday morning we'll finish West Virginia, so that means we've completed 12 of the states. And then the first day on the trail, we'll pretty much finish New Hampshire, so that means 13 states down. So, if I can get this right. Oh, here we go. Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Massachusetts, 
Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Maryland, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and I've missed off one. I'll make a note of it at the bottom of the screen. I've missed one state. I apologise to you, one state. But we have walked through it. Yes. We've done them all. <laughs> we have done them all. I've got to have to Google all this. Like, yeah. Oh. So anyway, we, so yes, so that's, mm -hmm. that's quite exciting. So, um, we booked the hotel in Gorham and we will meet a food package that we sent correct. when we were staying at Stanimals. One of those food packages will be waiting for yeah. us at the hotel. Oh, right. oh, that's a lot of logistics. See, this is just a put on brave smile. We have to do close to 25 miles again today. And we're having a bit of a later start. We get picked up in 15 minutes, so we have to go soon. In fact, Gumbo's just sent me a text saying, see you soon. The cool. best trail angel ever. Let's go. Let's go. Seven ten, and we are back on trail. A huge thanks to Gumbo. Thank you, Gumbo, for being fantastic for getting us back on trail for picking us up yesterday for helping out hikers um, it just makes doing this easier and it's always such a pleasure to meet a local so we've got a big target today we'll come to charge in a moment we'll spell out um, what our target is but as we he mentioned earlier between sneezes we have set ourselves the lofty target of getting to Harpers Ferry to catch a train at 11 a.m. on Saturday morning which is two and a half days from now so we need to leg it but that's okay when you got a challenge you kind of dig in and do it and that's what we're going to do the weather's nice this morning we've seen a few big trees that obviously got whacked by the storm and gumbo was saying that the south side of town had a power cut last night so the power was knocked out it was quite ferocious hopefully there aren't too many blowdowns on trail and that we can get through clearly and easily but as ever Heading north, charged just literally charged up that first hill. Um, you can feel the moisture in the air, like it's incredibly humid. I've had to break out the bandana because I've got sweat running down my face. But the temperature's pretty good. We are we've nearly done. We've just had our first drink because we're drinking it every hour. We've smashed out nearly three miles so we came up that hill remarkably quickly and um, it feels really good to have a plan so as charge laid out between sneezes this morning we've got a clear plan it feels good it feels good to know what we're going to do today and feels good that we've got a train ride in a two and a half days somewhere north It's been really low this morning. But we've got, I think it's a snapping turtle. I don't want to get too close because he might snap. Hello, I'm looking at you, looking at me. And charge is charging up that way. Best I go.
well. And I see Flash is getting into my shot because I've got competition. But those would be the biggest blazers, those white stripes on that underpass that I've ever seen. We've got two and a half miles and we're gonna head to the shelter and have an early lunch brunch. It's starting to feel much more like the Appalachian Trail of old. Now that we're out of the park and we're having a reprieve from the green tunnel and um, doing a little bit more, I don't know, I feel like we're passing through a little bit more civilization. This feels good. It feels like we're getting closer to Harpers Ferry and getting closer to ticking off a significant, significant milestone. Charge and I just pulled in here for an early morning tea, or late morning tea, early lunch. Beautiful. We've done four hours, just over 10 and a half miles, which for you people who like metrics is just over 17 kilometers. And it's been gorgeous, hasn't it, Flash? Charge, I should say. I'm Charge. I'm Flash, you're Charge. You're confused. <laughs> I am confused. Actually, I'm many things. Confused is one of them. We talk a lot about the Green Tunnel. And um, this is just a prime example of, um, of the Green Tunnel in Virginia. That's remarkable, isn't it? Because this has got creeper over the top and we're completely encircled in green. We're having such a great day today. We've walked nearly 16 and a half miles we're going to walk, I think, 24, 25 miles. Temperature's great. It's hot when you get out in the sunshine, but not as hot as it's been. There are wild blackberries on the side of the trail that I've been munching on. Great water supplies. So we've had plentiful water. And we've had lots of hills, but we just plod up them and then recover quickly at the top. That's exciting. We're going to the Rod Hollow Shelter, which is only 6.6 .6 miles away. Fantastic. We'll just be about a 24 mile day. That's the first time I've seen Harpers Ferry on a sign. So Harpers Ferry, we've got 32.8 miles to finish this section. Just saw our first snake of 2024. We've been hiking for, let's have a look. Just coming on nine hours now. Coming up for 22 and a half miles. And in one and a half miles, we get to our shelter for the night. So that will be... 24 miles or 39 kilometers for those of you who like metrics and just for you Trace and Marley I'll make a point of noting how many steps I've done today and I'll put that at the end of the video so you can see how many steps it takes to walk 39 kilometers up and down and through the woods. It's been a beautiful day today. Nice temperature, beautiful trail, lots of variety, but Charge and I, we're ready to get there now. Always so happy to see the shelter sign at the end of the day, 
24 miles. That's a wrap. Off to get some more water and have a wash. We've already had our recovery smoothie each and we're just topping up with some more water and um, Charge and I are going to have quick washes and we've got our sandals on so we can rinse our feet as well. Oh, it's been a long hot day and that water looks nice and cold and inviting. <laughs>